Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. And today I am super excited to be here with you for Tutorial Tuesday. So we're going to try things a little different here tonight. Um, I've been having some IT difficulties <laughs> when I go live. So I'm going to try this old school. So I've got you on my phone pointed at me right now. And then when it's time, I'm going to flip the camera and put it down on my desk. So we're going to go old school. Hopefully it's going to work and hopefully nobody will get too seasick and that our um, feed will stay the whole time because we've been having some issues where it's been cutting out and being kind of crazy. So um, today I have a really fun pop up front panel, pop up front step panel card for you. <laughs> I promise the card itself is not as hard to make as it is to say the name of it. So just give me a second here. I'm just trying to see if I can get it so I can see your comments. Um, this is all. Give me one minute here. It should be popping up there. Good. So I've got it on my iPad so I can watch the comments coming in. And I've got you in front of me here, so things should be going well. Okay, looks like, looks like it's gonna work. Okay, if I don't get your comments, um, I will go through at the end. And, no, that's right a comment. <laughs> Bear with me here, oh my goodness sakes. Okay, no, we don't wanna add people, so we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so if you're here with me, say hello. Let me know you're here. So I see Tina and Sherry. Awesome. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for joining me. All right, so a couple of things. Today is November 15th, and the seasonal sale was released today. This is a brand new sale. It's four days only. Okay, so it ends on Friday at 11.59 Mountain Time. Um, so you want to be sure to get those orders put together in place before then. So it's a really good sale, a really big one. Um, it's a great chance to um, to spend less and create more. So you can buy more products. Um, all of the punches. So this is talking about the annual catalog. So that's the, I don't even have one in front of me, goodness sakes. Um, that's the big thick one. Um, so everything in, that I'm going to talk about is from that catalog. So the punches are 10% off. Stamps are 15% off. Um, let's see what else we got here. We've got I'm just dies. All the dies are 20% off, and I'm going to show you one of my very favorites that we're going to use tonight that you can get um, $10 off. Um, embossing folders are 20% off, and the designer series paper 20% off. So that doesn't include the specialty papers, you know, the ones with the pretty foil and all that in it. And it also does not include the six by six little collections, but all the other designer paper is 20% off. So the other exciting thing is tomorrow, November 16th, marks my 12 year anniversary as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And so in celebration of that, I'm combining a special offer with the seasonal sale. So if you're on my newsletter, you would have got that in your email today. Um, but what I'm gonna, what I'm offering is anybody who places an order online with the host code um, that's posted, and I will post it in the comments here afterwards, or you can message me to get that code. So if your order is $50 or more, then you, I will send you four handmade cards, four cards from my stash that I've handmade um, and send them to you so you can use them or get ideas from them. If your order is $75 or more before shipping and tax, then I'll send you those four cards plus a package of embellishments. So there'll be a surprise embellishment, but it'll be a full package. If your order is over $100, I'm gonna send you the four cards, the free embellishments, and I'm gonna refund your shipping cost. So it's basically like, well it is, free shipping plus four cards plus embellishments. So it's a win-win. So anniversary special combined with the seasonal sale and I'm so excited to offer that to you guys. So that is all I can tell you. I had an amazing time at OnStage. So many people to, that I got to meet and talk with in real life, not just on a Zoom camera. Um, and there was lots of new products to show. We got the brand new catalog. I can't show you what's inside, but I can show you this pretty cover. So that starts January 
um, and runs January to April. So December 1st, I'll be able to order these catalogs. And then anybody who's shopped with me in the past 12 months will get a catalog. Um, you can always message me and let me know if you'd like to get one. So I'll be ordering lots of catalogs and getting those into your hands as soon as possible. All right, I am gonna go ahead and switch the camera down. I'm gonna try and do it really quick so you guys don't get a, um, motion sickness, but I've got a really fun card to share with you. So let me just get this going here. this camera oh that wasn't too bad just tighten that screw up okay looks good turn on those lights all right so today we are going to feature the North Pole mischief stamp set this is a super cute stamp set as you can see uh, featured in the mini catalog and we're going to make a really fun Let's see if I can say it this time. Pop-up front step panel card. So this card looks like this from the side. Super cute and actually pretty easy to make. So let's go ahead and I've got everything here prepared for you. I've got <clears throat> dimensions written out and everything. So let's hope that this is going to go really smoothly. So we're going to start with a mint macaron card base that measures 11 inches long by four and a quarter. So I've basically taken an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and cut it in half lengthwise. Then I scored it on my score pal at five and a half, six and three quarters, eight and three quarters, and 10. Okay. Hello, Bobby. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to fold our card in half on that first score line. Now, you will want to have a bone folder if you're making this. So we're going to fold it and then fold it again and again and again. So I'm folding all of these creases to the in, like towards the center of the card, right? Okay, now I want to use tear tape. So that's this tape here and I'm going to have my card laying flat still. I'm going to flip down this end panel so it's down like this and then I'm going to put two runs of tear tape. Oh that didn't work so well. So we've got the tear tape put down the side like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold on the second. So I'm going to open that up. I didn't tear this off yet. I'm going to open it up. And then on this fold line here, I'm going to just fold the card like that. Okay. Now I noticed my fold line's a little crooked. So I want that to be straight. So I think I just got a little, a little, there we go. Okay. So now we've got it folded on the second from the end fold line. We're gonna pull these off. Oops. Okay. And then with that folded, I'm gonna just close this piece, making sure the edges of my cardstock are lining up. Okay, sometimes you need to just give it a little burnish to get it to lay flat. Okay, and then I'm gonna give that a nice crisp fold. And now we have the base for the card. So if you can see it from the side, we've got this, what I'm gonna call the tube, okay? So when I say tube, this is what I'm referring to is this area down here. Okay, so again, here's your measurements for that. If you're watching, um, that was for the base. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, um, we're going to decorate this section here, the top section and the front of the tube. So to do that, I've got, I'm going to use Evening Evergreen and the one for the top measures four by three and a quarter and the one for the front of the tube is four by one and three quarters. So we can go ahead 
and attach those on. So I'm just going to use some of my multi-purpose glue to do this. And I'm just going to evenly space Oh, it's not very okay so I'm just evenly spacing that out trying to keep the borders nice and even okay and I'll do the same thing down here and I'm going to attach this to the front of the tube again trying to get a nice even border all the way around Okay, so now that we've got that done, I then want to attach some designer series paper. So I'm using the Santa Express paper and I'm using these gifts because I think they coordinate really great with the stamp images that we're going to be using. So let's take that off now. This measures three and three quarters by three. We'll go ahead and we'll attach that down here. Again, just using some multi-purpose glue. Trying to get a nice even border all the way around. Turn that so I can see it a bit better. Okay, so again, that was three and three quarters by three for that piece. Now for the front of the tube, we're going to use Another of the same designer paper, three and three quarters by one and a half. Okay, so again, just a bit of multi purpose glue. And we will, oh, I don't want our presents to be upside down. So we're going to attach that here. We're going to have all these measurements over here, but don't worry. The video replay will be up on YouTube, so you can always go back and see them on there as well. Okay, so now that we have that part decorated, now we can add the top panel, um, the step. So for that one, I've got a piece here that measures 5 and 5 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. I've scored it at the 3 eighths mark and the 1 and 5 eighths. So for this one, I'm going to flip it over and I want to put the folds in like this, okay? And then what I want to do is take my tear tape again and I'm going to attach it right here. Now I apologize if anybody is leaving me comments. My um, iPad that I'm is really old, like dinosaur old. <laughs> And it keeps shutting off, so I'm unable to see the comments, but I will go back and check them out once the video is over. So please do still leave me comments. Okay, so this is on the the 3 eighths score line that I have this um, score tape. Then I want to flip it over, and I'm going to put two lines of score tape down here on the end. Now you could use... Um, liquid glue and stuff like that too. I just really want to make sure that my glue is where I want it to be and not running anywhere else. So that's why I'm going to use the tear tape. Okay, so bring our card base back in. And then what we're going to do, this is going to go on here. So it's going to be like this. So what I'm trying to avoid is that when my card closes, so to close your card, you're going to push this up, right? We don't want this piece to be overlapping the top of our card because then it won't fit nicely in your envelope. So take this piece off, put that over here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fold the card. Okay, I'm going to fold this piece down and I want to line that up with the top of the card base. So I'm centering it this way um, and I'm lining it up so it's flush with the top of the card. Okay, so that's the goal. So I'm gonna pull off the tape that's on the 3 8 line and I'm gonna line that up. Okay, and then I'm going to put some pressure there so that it gets nice and adhesed. And then when we open that back up and 
open this back up, we're going to have our card. Now, the last thing we need to do is to attach this piece to the bottom here. So that's going to be quite easy. We're just going to take this off. Okay, we can pop that up if we want. No, we're going to actually pop it down. That's going to make it easier because we're going to do it as though the card was closed. Okay, so this is how your recipient is going to receive it in their envelope. More pressure down here. Okay, and then when you pop it open, now everything is going to lay flat. And you're going to have this really fun folded card. All right, so now we're going to decorate this front piece. And to do that, I have got... A piece of real red cardstock that measures three and three quarters by two and a half and that's going to get placed right here on the mint macaron cardstock okay so we'll go ahead and we will attach that to the front here again I'm trying to get this evenly spaced Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of gingham cottage designer paper in the real red pattern with the small checks, and that's three and a half by two and a quarter. And we're just going to attach that to the front of that real red paper. So there is the decoration part. We've got all our layers, designer series papers, all I'm <laughs> all added and matted and lined up nicely. And now what we want to do is put our stamped image. So as I mentioned earlier, we're using the North Pole Mischief stamp set. This is one of my faves from the mini catalog. I love how adorable it is. So much fun to color. And my thought when I purchased this one is that you could use it for birthdays. You could not ink this up and you could put a birthday um, sentiment inside there. You could ink it up and just put a banner across that says happy birthday. Um, you could use this guy here for so many different things and I love the little paw print. So this is a really good stamp set in my opinion and I love it. So what I've done on the card here and I've gone ahead and done some of this ahead of time because you guys don't really want to sit and watch me color I'm sure. So what I did was I stamped the image in Memento Black, so just in this one here. So remember when you're using your alcohol-based stamping blends, you want to use a water-based black ink around it. So I've used the Memento and I've stamped this cute little image onto white cardstock. And then I took my scallop contour dies right here, so these lovely ones right here, and I've used this guy here and I put it on my image and I ran it through the big sh through the die cut machine and cut it out so these scallop contours are one of my go-to's I use them all the time they're regular $48 in the catalog here in Canada and right now with a seasonal sale they're on for $38.40 so you're getting $9.60 off of these awesome dies so um, if you like these and you don't already own them it's a great time to add them to your collection so I've cut them out and then I've colored my image using crumb cake, real red, evening evergreen, smoky slate and mint macaron. And I've just colored them with my blends. And the last thing I want to do before I attach this to the front of my card is to stamp Mary Mary. So I've got that attached and this is right here in the stamp set with the tuxedo black and I'm just going to stamp this right up here above the little puppy. And then we'll go ahead and we'll attach this to the front of the card. Now I want to put some more layer to this. So I'm going to bump it up with some dimensionals. And to do that and make sure that we get them in the right spot, I'm just going to line it up where I want it. And what's, I'm going to use these lines that are already in the designer paper as a guideline. So 
I'll lay that closed so that it's easier to work with. And below this second spot is where I want my dimensionals to go. Okay. And then when I put that back up on there, I want it to go just above this line here. So this is kind of a, an easy line up way to do your dimensionals and make sure that you're going to get them in the right spot. I don't want to put them on the back of my cutout here because if I accidentally get them too far over, they're going to end up catching here. So it's a good idea to put them on your base. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and attach this on. I'm also using the edge of the Evening Evergreen to line up with the edge of my die to make sure it's even. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of bling. So to do that, I'm using my Fine Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems. These are in the mini catalog and they're in with the um, Gnome, Storybook Gnomes Dyes um, product suite. So let me grab my Take a Pick tool here. And I've got a few of these red ones left, so I'm going to use those. And I'm just going to put a few. like so and that'll complete the front part of our card now you might be sitting here wondering okay that's great you've made this cool awesome card with a nice fun full but where am i going to write my message well don't worry we've got a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white and we're just going to flip the card on over and we're going to adhere that right to the back so you have plenty of room to send a heartfelt message. Of course, you could always decorate this up just like you would the inside of a card. And you could stamp some more images on there, do some more coloring, add some designer series paper. Really, the possibilities are endless. You could do so much with this, okay? But I did wanna show you that there is lots of room to write on your card. The other thing that does is it gives more stability to the back of your card. So when it's standing, so your recipient can stand it up on their counter or their shelf and they can have it looking at them all season long. All right, so now that I've showed you that card, I am going to flip the camera one more time. Just bear with me here. Flip this camera. I'm going to turn off the light so I don't have these rings on my glasses. There we go. All right. So what do you guys think? What did you think of that card? Now that I can see the comments, I can see everybody who's watching. Thank you for being here with me tonight um, and joining me in my craft room as we created this fun card. I absolutely love it. So much fun. Um, so now I have a pair to send off in the mail. I love that. Oh, and I did want to show you guys just in case you didn't um, believe me. So here's the envelope. And if you fold the card, like I showed you, so remember you're pushing up from the bottom, it's going to lay flat and then it will fit in the envelope. So it does fit in just a standard um, invitation envelope. The ones we saw stamping up um, right here. So it fits perfectly. All right. So what do you guys think? Have you made this card before? Will you try it? I'm, I'm dying to know what you think. I absolutely love this one. Um, when I first was seeing them all over Pinterest and online, I was a little bit intimidated. It looked like something that was going to be complicated, but I was so happy when I found the tutorial and it was not. Um, and I had so much fun creating what I was going to make my pattern look like. So Christmas it was, and the North Pole, North Pole Mischief stamp set um, stole my heart. So it was the one that I chose to put on here. It's also the stamps that I'm going to be featuring the rest of the week on my blog. So stay tuned there for a few more ideas if you've already got the stamp set, or if it's one you've been thinking about adding to your collection. So don't forget about the seasonal sale and my anniversary bonuses that I'm offering for the next four days. Well, till Friday, till 11.59 Mountain Time on Friday. Um, anyway, yes, so thank you so much for being here. I appreciate um, you popping in and crafting with me. 
and I will go back and check the comments and answer anything. If you've got questions, if you're watching the replay, just hashtag replay, leave me your comment and I'll be sure to pop back on and answer those as well. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for being here. Cheers.